In the last probably 20 hours, my pain level has been about a three or, or a four, which is in the mild range. I'd say this morning, the last four hours, it's been more in the moderate range, which is a five. Um, however, that's what the team told me to expect. Hi, Beth. Good morning, Allison. Allison. How are you doing this I'm morning? I'm doing okay. Excellent. Now that we're talking more about discharge, I wanted to make sure that she could walk comfortably the distances she'll have to walk at discharge, and make sure she's comfortable with whatever assistive device she wants to go home with. Um, and then make sure she can do everything she has to do at home. Walk up to the okay. stairs, getting into and out of bed safely without any assistance. Walking those distances, we talk about activity recommendations for home, how much should she be walking, how often should she be doing her exercises, and things like that. She's doing fantastic. She passed physical therapy. Actually, I expected it to be a little more intense. Um, and I know there will be good days and there will be days where it doesn't feel so hot, uh, but it's certainly something that I can tolerate and work through. Hi, Hi. how are you? I'm doing well. My name is Casey, I'm a pharmacist. Nice to meet you, Casey. Nice to meet you. The main thing I would like to express to them is keeping ahead of the pain typically, and then coming up with a pattern or a way of weaning off medications when they're, they can tolerate it. Because we find sometimes patients continue to take medications similar to what they're doing here, not reassessing necessarily how well they're doing. So the key is to come up with a plan about how you're gonna go about cutting back on your medications. Okay. Discharge time. My final instructions is that I am going to go over a little bit of what pharmacy said, but I'm also going to go over home safety so that she is successful at home. What to expect at home, making sure that she has the numbers that she needs in case she needs to call, but also has the discharge instructions that she can look back at. I have to say the continuity of care through this experience from the very first appointment with Dr. Ilgen to a meeting with a surgery schedule or getting to surgery and then the inpatient care has been impeccable. And I really haven't experienced anything where something that one person says is uh, contradicted by what somebody else said. So I, I could not be more pleased so far with this experience.